All right, guys, here's the scoop. I'm on a quest to find the worst Chinese restaurant in my city, and I think I've succeeded. About two stars. This review section might be my favorite that I've ever come across. The outside windows are broken and have been for a while. They got bars on the window, so I don't think they plan on fixing it anytime soon. I mean, realistically, if you have barred windows, you don't really need glass. What, you need glass on every restaurant window, Mr. Fancy? Give me a break. This one says, crazy old hag yelled at us and kicked us out. We wanted a refund for the rotten beer she poured us. Can beer go rotten? Can beer rot. This says beer doesn't go bad. Bunch of pretentious liars in this review section so far. This one just says, scary at times. <laughs> and they gave it two stars. Because it's not scary all the time, just at times. Okay, here we go. Three stars. The people are real, but the drugs and prostitution are very noticeable. This is a person who puts people above all. You've got drugs and a bunch of zesty spears getting zoinked, but the people are real, so you gotta give it that three stars. This one says, rude old hag just yells at everyone. Is this the same old hag from the other review? Dirty crackhead bar, they don't even cook food. That's what I intend to find out. Okay, here's a five star review. And I'm gonna read this exactly as it appears on the page. What a wonderful Indian-filled experience. The most friendly staff and free first-time drinks for new customers. They called it an Indian-filled experience. What does that mean? Your favorite bar might have cheap wings and hot girls, but I bet it's not Indian-filled, bro. The username of the person who left this review is Fat Alert. Fat Alert. I don't know... I don't know what to make of this. Is he being serious? Is oh yeah, Fat Alert is out here giving like everything five stars. Is this a joke to you, Fat Alert? I'm gonna call this place and see if they serve food. Cause it does technically say it's a bar. Hello? Hello? This is the scoop. Scoop? Well, I tried to call and all I got was the noises from the ring. You're gonna die in seven days from uncooked Chinese food. Anyway, I guess we got no choice but to go there now. All right, we're here pulling up outside. This place outside, I swear to God, says it's a cafe, lounge, and sports bar. And it's a Chinese restaurant. Where do you wanna go for drinks tonight, Fred? Oh, you know, I'm feeling the sports bar cafe lounge, but only if it's Chinese. Well, the lady, old hag, although she was actually pretty nice, I thought. She told me I can only pay in cash. I tried to use one of their ATMs, it didn't work. So I'm about to go to my bank and take out cash so I can do this. They literally only have five things on the menu. The menu is like a little piece of paper the size of my hand. I told her I just want one of everything. She thought about it and she's like, 20 bucks. I was like, got you fam. All right guys, I'm back with the cash. All right guys, she's cooking the food. She deadass last minute raised the price of the meal by 50 cents. So I'm just looking around the car for 50 cents right now. Boom, found it. 50 cents in the center console like it's nothing. You know I ball. All right guys, we got one big Chinese hunk of food. Let's go hit the bedroom with the goods. Oh my God. <laughs> It's a microwave dinner. <laughs> it's a microwave dinner. Is this supposed to be the lasagna? Okay, so lasagna was one of the five things on the menu, and I'm I'm pretty sure this is the lasagna. <laughs> I was saving the lasagna for last, but I just saw this in the bag, and I mean, holy shit. And it's not even lasagna. It's pini polo. It's open with this suspicious hole in it. Let's open it all the way, I guess. Ugh. Just squirted peony juice all over me. Ugh, look at that, it's all on one side. I'm not gonna lie, on the right day I might eat this, but someone fucked a hole in this one, so I'm not gonna touch it. Moving on, we've got the pork dumplings. This actually looks really good. They even got the little container of soy sauce on the side. If you don't eat your Chinese food with soy sauce, is there even a point to your life? It's good! That's actually pretty killer. What is this? Ah, uh, they rolled up some cutlery in here. Cute! Up next, we've got the noodle soup. It literally looks like she took dollar store noodles and mixed them up with lettuce. There's barely any liquid going on here. It's just, it's just stuffed with the cheap noodles. Ah, uh, tastes like the dollar store. This would maybe have been good if they used actual noodles. Up next, we have the pizza pockets, which are literally pizza pops from the fucking grocery store. Gosh darn it, I've been bamboozled. 
I think it's three cheese. My compliments to the Pizza Pop Corporation. Up next, we have my favorite, boiled egg. This place is really out here selling single boiled eggs for one dollar. Bro, last night at the bar, I was so loaded, I ordered like 10 boiled eggs. Let's crack this baby. There's no top to it. Is it normal for an egg to be shaped like this? I'm gonna go ask my mom. All right, guys, my mom said the egg is shaped normally. What am I supposed to be, some sort of egg expert? The economy out here is crazy, I, I have no time. Every time I see a picture of an egg, it's oval shaped. One dollar boiled egg, let's try it out. Ugh. Too healthy tasting. I just threw up. I think there was something uncooked going on. Love you guys, peace.